hello students welcome back now we are going to move ahead towards the fpga implementation and talk about synthesis and implementation so in this video we are going to talk about the synthesis process implementation process and what can we achieve in the reports after the synthesis and implementation so let us get started so first of all what is synthesis synthesis is one of the vital processes which is a part of the fpga implementation of any digital system in this process we are converting our logic design that means our verilog code into the circuit that means logic gates you can say that we were already doing it in the schematic then what is the difference now let us see that what is going to be the difference in synthesis the gates are going to be mapped based on the available clbs clbs means configurable logic blocks of the fpga so every fpga will have different number of clbs and different type of clb also so now your circuit implementation will completely depend on the type of board that you have selected the synthesis process will be completed only after checking the syntax and functionality using the waveform we must have a constraint file because we said now we are dependent on the fpga board so we must have the constraint file also before we perform the synthesis the board should be very carefully selected it should be same as of the constraint file the synthesis can be performed with customized and the default settings in any way whichever you prefer once we perform the synthesis we are going to have some outcomes we will get post synthesis rtl schematic the rtl schematic which we were having earlier was based on the vivado software simulation but now based on the fpga that you select it will be generated from those clbs it will be very closer to the actual hardware circuit which will be implemented on the fpga we will also get the power utilization and the resource utilization report power report will tell us that this circuit is going to consume approximately this much power and resource utilization tells us that out of 100 or 1000 or millions of resources available on your fpga how many of those are being used the next process is implementation implementation is performed once we are done with the synthesis this process basically involves the placements and routing that means we have to connect different components the elements of the fpga with wires it will include the connection of these wires registers and ports with the given coding style now in this process we are going to use the same constraint file because we have to map our clbs with the same fpga ports we should keep the same board selected we should not change the board and implementation can also be done with the default setting or the customized setting as per the user requirement when we have performed the implementation then we can visualize the mapping of ports we also get the post implementation rtl schematic which is the final circuit which is going to be implemented on the fpga and we also get the more accurate power and resource utilization reports so here we have a sample report which is generated after the implementation we can see that how many flip flops how many lut's memories input output and ram are being used out of 100% how many percentages are being used 
on the right side we can see that how much power this circuit is going to use we can also have the mapping of our ports after the implementation we can have the view of our package and device and see that which of the components are being used so now let us go to vivado and synthesize and implement the same half header using the created constraint file and check the reports so we have our half header verilog program we have the constraint file we have checked the simulation and waveform using the simulation already now we will go to synthesis and if we want to synthesize using the default setting simply click on run synthesis and we can start the synthesis process now based on your processor you can decide that how many parallel processes you want to start so dual core quad core octa core you can decide that and click ok the synthesis will start and it is going to take some good amount of time you will see the updates here that it is running and you can go to tcl console to see that the command has started and logs will tell you that what is happening at what time what command is being executed it will take minimum two to five minutes for a good pc and can take more for slightly slower pc so you have to be very patient here once the synthesis is completed you will get a message synthesis successfully completed and you have the other options whether you want to run the implementation right away or just want to see your synthesized design or reports or you can simply press cancel and do nothing let us view the reports and click ok so the reports will be available in this section if you want to see you can go to project summary also scroll down and you can see synthesis is done and post synthesis results are available here this is your resource utilization and you can see that you are using only 1% of lookup table and 4% of IOs. Now what should we do? We should run the implementation also. So you can click run implementation here or the better way is go here and click on run implementation. Again you can select the number of parallel jobs and you can start it. Implementation is also going to take almost similar time and will depend completely on your system please be patient here as well once the implementation is successfully completed we get this message here now the next step is basically generate bitstream but we'll talk about that in our next video so right now you can press cancel and we go back to our project summary and we can see that power reports are also updated post implementation reports are also updated we get a good idea that how much power our system is going to consume you can click on this report and have a view in more details now we can see that device is open here this is our fpga internal view and only this highlighted package is being used only one clb is being used here are the power usages we can see that 2.065 is the total power being used out of that 96 percent is basically on dynamic and other on static you can also see that your signal logic and input output are using how much percentage of your power so that now you can decide that where should we optimize the power so students now we know about synthesis and implementation we have one more step and that is called bitstream file generation how to do that we'll learn in our next video keep learning thank you